You will live in my law if you keep my commandments, even as I have kept my Father's commandments and live in his law. All this I tell you that my joy may be yours and your joy may be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. There is not greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends, if you do what I command you. I no longer speak of you as slaves, for a slave does not know what his master is about. Instead, I call you friends, since I have made known to you all that I heard from my Father. It was not you who chose me, it was I who chose you to go forth and bear fruit. Your fruit must be endure, so that all you ask the Father in my name, he will give you.
I like to sew and I like to cook. I'll do that. And they said, Monica, you're going to teach. And she's been doing it ever since and doing it well. And with Sister Ann, our global trekker, <laughs> she plays a unique part in the community. Because with many of the schools being closed, many of the parish visitations not being done, she is the face of the community all around the world that they hear of the sisters of St. Basil the Great. They know that they are involved, that they know they are a part of life, and that they have something to offer, and they have something to share in the vision, in the ministry, and in the role of the church. There are many times when we are called that we sometimes feel in that. When Peter was called, he was the one that denied Christ three times. When Moses was called, he stuttered. When we look at a lot of the people that God chose to be able to give his message, it sometimes came from the weakest. It sometimes came from those who felt unable, but they began to rely on power of God in their life. And they began to allow that power to give them the courage, to give them the conviction, and to give them the faith to be able to do the task that God had asked them to do. <coughs> There's a lot of times in vocations where sometimes people will say, well, that will make a good one. And then there's times where they say, that one will never, never make a good number. And a lot of times, those are the good calls because they are full of life. They are full of love. They are full of action. And they are full of that energy which invites people in to the life that we can have when we truly, truly put our hope and put our trust and put our faith in our God. There are probably hundreds of thousands of people that your two lives have touched. And today, whether they be living or dead, I'm sure they share with you the same love and the same concern and the same joy of being able to say thank you. To be able to say thank you for your love your witness, and your love. God <coughs> rolled to the fear of God, and with faith Christ is risen. In the presence of Mary, the Lord, and, God, and of our Holy Father, St. Basil, and our Holy Mother, St. Prima, I renew my vow commitment to live the evangelical counsels of chastity, poverty, and obedience. To you, Lord God, one in the Holy Trinity, I pray that I live in the community of the Sisters of St. Basil, in the spirit of prayer and self-giving, so that together we might go forth in service to the people of God. In the presence of Mary, the Mother of God, and of our Holy Father, St. Basil, and our Holy Mother, St. Prima, I renew my vow of commitment to live the evangelical counsels of chastity, poverty, and obedience to you, Lord God, one in the Holy Trinity. I pray that I live in the community of the Sisters of St. Basil in the spirit of prayer and self-giving, so that together we might go forth in service to the people of God.
so, so beautiful to speak to the beer berry women. They had the courage to go to anoint the body when everybody else was running away, being fear of being arrested. Words coming to them. And they went to anoint the body, and our risen Lord meets them and tells them to go and tell the disciples, to, to his apostles, to meet with him, that he is risen. They had courage. And then they ran through the, through the cemetery to go and tell the others, first out of fear and of shock, and then in joy and happiness that they had seen the risen Lord. And when I look at the two of you, and the, the two of you that I've come to know these past 14 years, you are like those mirror bearing, holy mirror bearing women. Because you run like they do. <laughs> I see sometimes Sister Monica on the grounds here, a man, a man like Bunny, that's not good enough. You're, you're on double the battery size. I've never seen you on the walk so fast. I haven't seen you run yet. But and you too, sister. You're always busy. You're enthusiastic. You show much courage and enthusiasm to bring that torch of Saint Basil, that he, the example he gives you, to spread the faith, to bring the faith to your students, to the people that you're serving in the catechetical programs, the different missions that both of you have done. You've done it with enthusiasm, you've done it with great courage. And the church, on behalf of the church, I, there aren't words enough to express our gratitude to you. We pray for you that God continue to rich, rich, richly bless you with that same energy, the life-giving energy that inspires others to also serve and to love the Lord and, and to take on speed in that passion to love the Lord. You, how the, the apostles of the road to me is, did not our hearts burn with passion as they explained to us all that is all that, all that happened. And the people who you serve, their hearts burn with passion, having been touched by your ministry in explaining the, 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 the truths of the faith. So we thank you for that. God bless you, richly grant you many, many blessed years. Namnohaya, Ibla, Yalita.